2020 has come and gone. Although it was a bleak year for most, there were some highlights. So in case you missed these, check out my 2020 year in review. This is YouTube Rewind 2020 Web Dev Edition. I'm a man of many hats. Hi, I'm Jesse, AKA Code Stacker. We're going to take a trip through 2020 and I'll highlight some of my favorite videos and instructors. Links to every channel mentioned will be in the description below. A lot of great things happened in 2020 and some not so great things. Dino was a thing for a second. GitHub profile readmes were popular and GitHub introduced dark mode. JavaScript optional chaining saved us from checking for data. React 17 was released. Next.js took off. Vue 3 was released. Bootstrap 5 went into beta, and there were so many great videos released from all of my favorite YouTubers, and these are in no particular order. Free Code Camp released 165 videos, most of which are full courses on just about every web development topic you can think of. The Net Ninja taught us Laravel 6, Svelte, TypeScript, Framer Motion for React, Dino, Node.js, Tailwind CSS, and Vue 3 for beginners. Brad Traversy showed us that burnout is real and that you have to take care of your health. He took a short break from YouTube and let some guest creators take over his channel, including myself. But he still managed to get tons of great videos out too, along with some new courses. A few of his popular videos were React Native Crash Course 2020, Real Time Chat with Users and Rooms, Dino Crash Course, Node.js App from Scratch, Bootstrap 5 First Look, and Build a Portfolio Website and Deploy. Code with Anya Kubo taught us how to make cool games with just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. We built Doodle Jump, Candy Crush, Pac-Man, and Space Invaders, just to name a few. Chris Sean gave us some great career advice. Dennis Ivey sold a website for $41,000 and made a video about it that got 1 million views. Now for a quick word from our sponsor. Do you need a desk lamp? A typical desk lamp will cause glare on your monitor, but not with the BenQ Screen Bar Plus. This lamp is designed to reduce eye strain. It will light up your entire desk evenly without causing any reflection on your monitor. This product was sent to me for a review, so big thanks to BenQ. It's simple to install. It sits on top of your monitor and has a control unit which will allow you to control the brightness and color temperature of the screen bar. It's powered by USB, so I just plugged it into one of the available USB slots on the back of my monitor. When you turn it on, it will automatically set the brightness for you based on how bright your room is. I'm surprised with how much of a difference this made to my desk. I think anyone that uses a computer could benefit from this screen bar. Use the link in the description below to check it out today. Next up, Web Dev Simplified taught us how to write better code and how to build a video chat app using WebRTC. Design course critiqued your sites and let you know how boring they are. Floor and Pop built 10 projects in 10 hours straight. Adrian Twarg taught us about WordPress, UI design, and why you need a bigger monitor. Man, I want that G9. Ben Awad argued with other developers and showed us why React Native isn't garbage. He let us know that coding interviews are broken and why AngularJS sucks. Then he created VS Code Stories, sold it, but then he didn't stop there. He created VS Code Tender. What will he do next? William Candian challenged Ben Awad to Clash of Code and Jessica Chan from Coder Coder to CSS Battle. This video from Coder Coder took off and she told us her story of how she learned to code and get a job with no CS degree or bootcamp. These videos are amazing, by the way. I love the editing. Fireship taught us COBOL in 100 seconds because for some reason we needed to know a 60 year old language in 2020. Aside from that, he taught us a bunch of other stuff in 100 seconds. JavaScript modules, JavaScript promises, beyond console log, CSS flexbox, electron.js, Git, Vue.js, CSS animation, Dino, regular expressions, and WebAssembly. Coding Phase showed us where to learn to code quickly without breaking the bank, and his live streams were amazing. I had the opportunity to join one, and it was a lot of fun. Callie Halden showed us five productivity tools for programming, how to make money with code, five projects every programmer should try, and he tried living like the rock for a week. Kevin Powell helped us push the limits of HTML and CSS. And now we thought the new Boston had abandoned us. There were rumors that he became a monk, but he came back and introduced us to his new cryptocurrency. 
Caleb Curry taught us all about Python. Program with Eric taught us View 3. Danny Thompson not only motivated us, but kept us sane with some fun Among Us games with various developers. Francesco posted over 100 videos, many of which were interviews with various developers, including myself. Dorian DevOps exposed Wide Hat Jr. Brian Jinx taught us how to use Obsidian. We learned some awesome magic tricks from DevEd. Faraday Academy taught us all about Vue.js. James Quick explained the Jamstack and showed us five ways to customize VS Code. Eddie Jowd helped us with all things open source and got us through Hacktoberfest. DevOps Directive told us not to buy the new Apple Silicon M1 Max. Real Tough Candy kept it real with her course reviews. Webb and Falk taught us React and Gatsby. Tadas Petras showed us how to flutter. Academine had several new courses, one of which was on Dino. Claudio taught us all about Blazor and C Sharp. Chow Codes showed us what it's like to be a self-taught developer. Coding Garden has the best live streams ever. In one, he built and deployed a URL shortener in 3,133.3 seconds. That's 52 minutes in case you wanted to know. A couple of programming with Mosh's top videos were Python for Beginners and React Native for Beginners. Learn to code with James, Perkins, converted us to Next.js. And a few of my top videos for 2020 were my JavaScript January series, which was a short video on JavaScript every day in January. I showed you how to take your GitHub profile readme to the next level. I gave you the ultimate guide to web dev in 2021. And I told you the minimum needed to become a web developer. Now, before we go, there are a few channels that I want to mention that you need to look out for in 2021. And these are in alphabetical order. Ahmed Awas, Ali Spatel, Brian Jinx, Code Stories, Kodu Community, Colby Fea, D. Thompson Dev, Eleftheria, Hungry Turtle Code, JavaScript Mastery, Jay Tompkins, Lee Halliday, Randall Kenna, Robert Brunage, and Python Engineer. Look out for these up and coming channels in 2021. If I missed any development related YouTube videos that you enjoyed in 2020, let me know in the comments. And that's going to be it for this video. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.